time to make my famous lasagna. Welcome to the kitchen. So we're going to start by making lasagna sauce and this is everything we need. Two cans of stewed tomatoes, some tomato sauce, a large chopped onion, I have garlic, parsley, salt and pepper, basil, and oregano. So here at the stove, I've browned two pounds of ground beef and I'm gonna go ahead and get my onion in and get it sauteed. I will suggest if you use ground beef in this recipe, be sure to use lean ground beef so you won't have a greasy lasagna later on. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my garlic and just give this a good mix before we get everything started for this sauce. Okay, now for the sauce, we're going to go ahead and get in the stewed tomatoes. And you could also use chopped tomatoes, but I do like the flavor and texture of the stewed tomatoes. Um, it, they just tend to be more flavorful than the other ones to me. And then I have tomato sauce, two cans of that. Of course, all of the full measurements will be listed in the description box. And now I'm going to go ahead and get in all of my seasoning and spices. Now here I do prefer dried herbs, but of course if you like or if you have fresh herbs on hand, be sure to go ahead and put it in at this point. So after giving this a good mix, I almost forgot one last ingredient, which is some tomato paste. So here I have a six ounce can and I'm adding the whole thing in. Now this leads to a flavorful sauce, but it will be thick, which is exactly what we want so that it won't be runny in our lasagna. So after giving this a really good mix, I'm gonna go ahead and get the lid on and then this is going to sit and cook for an hour. After an hour, this is how the sauce is looking. It is thick, it's tender, and it is flavorful. And you actually could cook it two hours. Sometimes I've done that before as well, but at least one hour for this flavor and consistency. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna let it cool a little bit while we get started on the cheese portion of the lasagna. And so here I have some ricotta cheese, two eggs. I'm just gonna go ahead and beat lightly and then get this in. Okay, now here I like uh, to add a little flavor and color, so I'm going to go ahead and get some parsley in and also some salt and pepper. I don't like my ricotta blend here to be bland, so I do make sure I put a little bit of salt and pepper in. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this in really well before we get the rest of our cheeses in. To finish this up, I have some grated Parmesan going in. Love this for that salty, nutty flavor that it adds along with some mozzarella. And then I'm going to go ahead and get this a final mix and then prepare a station to start building the lasagna. So I've prepared my lasagna noodles and I am going to get them cooled off on my sheet pan here. So I just sprayed it with some cooking spray so that it will not stick. And then I am going to lay my noodles out here again to prevent them from sticking, but also to allow them to cool some. Now I've only cooked them for maybe three to five minutes because they're going to cook for a long time, of course, in my casserole dish that I have here. Now this has been greased as well. This is a deep dish nine by 13 inch pan. I'm going to layer the noodles in first and here I'm gonna go three um, lasagna noodles across and then the next step is gonna be some of my, uh, that meat sauce that we had cooked earlier. And this is why I like a thick sauce here so that it actually stays in between the layers of lasagna. So I'm gonna go put in about a third of the meat mixture here and kind of flatten it out before adding the cheese on top. Now with the ricotta cheese, again, I'm going to go uh, try and eyeball it to do about a third of this mixture. And what I like to do is kind of dollop it around the meat first. And then I'm going to go in with my fork and then try to flatten this out without disturbing that meat at the bottom if possible. Okay. 
Okay, now that that is all done, we're gonna start the next layer. So each layer, I'm going to come in with three noodles and then repeat the process. So it's gonna be the pasta, the meat sauce, and then the ricotta cheese. Now for the final layer, we're going to end with three pasta sheets. And then we're not gonna add any more of the meat or ricotta cause I've already added as much as I'm going to in the recipe. But I'm going to top this off with the mozzarella cheese. I like to end with the noodles here because it keeps the shape of the lasagna. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread over my cheese. I got my oven preheated at 375. Last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and tint this with some foil that I've sprayed so it won't stick to the cheese. So I'm barely putting it on top, not too tight. And then I am going to let this cook in my oven for about 40 minutes as it's done. After 40 minutes, I remove that foil and let it cook another 15 to 20 minutes. There it is. The hardest thing to do is to allow this to cool before cutting into it. I really would like for you to give this a try. It's amazing to have for your holiday dinner. I like to make two or three at a time and give them away as gifts as well. Again, I hope you like this video as well as this recipe. And if you do, be sure to give me a thumbs up until we meet again on the next one.